commitment ceremony last night was hard to watch, and math sent shockwaves around the country when the experiment took the biggest turn that we've ever seen on the show. You, you come out of a, 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 a long-term relationship. Uh, this, this doesn't help, uh, you know. Um, I'm wondering whether you're enough, and then, yeah, I feel like I'm pretty broken. making me cry all over again. Josh, who was at the centre of this huge blowout, um, or blow up, joins us now. Josh, good morning to you. I'm so sorry you had a bad experience. You know, you, you're such a genuine guy. You wear your heart on your sleeve, clearly. How was it for you watching that back last night? Uh, it was uh, it was difficult. Um, I, I watched it at home by myself and uh, I had a little bit of a cry um, when I saw it. It, it. It's difficult to relive those memories, so... Mm. Can I say something on behalf of a lot of men and I think women out there too, Josh, and I think that it's really valuable for us as a nation on a show like MAPS to see a man show his vulnerability yeah. like this. Yeah. Because a lot of the times what we talk about on this show is the toxicity of men in this country dating at the moment through this show. Mm. Yeah. But what you did was really important. I think that you, your kids would be proud of that. You, you're setting up something that's really important. Was that something that you felt that you couldn't control at the, t at the moment and that wasn't being received by Melissa, that vulnerability? Uh, well, I, I just thought that the, the show has its own reputation, but I don't have to feed into that. I can still be my own person and, and still yeah. continue to be me and genuine. So I hope that's what comes across. Well, John took the drastic st step of sending Melissa home, even though she chose to stay, which I, I can't understand why she did that in the first place when she was so awful. But um, do you think John did the right thing, sending her off? Uh, I, well, it was, it was my decision to leave, and I, I, I'm, I'm thankful uh, to mm. John for allowing me to leave. I, yeah. I think the, the relationship had moved to kind of to the point where it, it was appropriate to leave. Mm. You know, the, the group really supported you last night, and that was the other thing about being open like that. You, you People rally around you. Um, and did you feel that support, and was that something that was new from when the group did that to you th last night? Uh, I'd, I'd worked very hard uh, at becoming friends with everyone um, in the experiment, so it, it wasn't a surprise to me. Um, the only thing I would say is it was disappointing that it didn't show the, the women also... Uh, supporting me as well and yeah. they did say quite a number of nice things it's just unfortunately didn't make the um, the, the, the vision. Sure. Well you had a lot of support in the room you got a lot of support around the country too you know everyone has seen at home what a lovely genuine caring guy you are what are you looking for in a partner you know you're, you're obviously out there looking for love and I reckon it's going to find you soon because people have seen what a wonderful guy you are now. Well, one of the things that I kind of like uh, learnt out of the experiment was trying to connect with someone on a, deep, uh, on a deeper level and that was kind of the, I guess, the source of frustration for me where, you know, like it, it, for me it wasn't just the physicality. Like if you can connect with someone deeper on any number of topics, like you learn more and it means more and probably that's the thing that I'm looking for the most, you know, like someone to stay up all hours having phone calls with and spending heaps of time with and experiencing life with you. That's, yeah. that's what I'm looking for. You're a bloody romantic, mate. And that's Sweetheart. The, and that's the thing. And mm. we really appreciate your time. And thank you again for, you know, for being brave enough to be vulnerable. I think it's Putting important. it all out there. Thank You're a good you. man. And we wish you all the best. And please keep us updated as well. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. And you can watch Married at First Sight tonight at 7.30. And you can catch up on every episode, including last night's, at 9. Now. There's new weddings tonight. Yes, new what brides, could possibly go wrong? One of them forgets how to speak at the aisle. He's so oh, nervous. I know, bring it all on. Uh, it's the show that never fails to surprise. But what we saw last night on mm. MAPS was a first. I want to now speak my truth and talk about something that I actually think is at the heart of the issue. There is a significant issue in this relationship about control. She has used degrading and dehumanising language to me, questioning my manhood. I don't feel protected by Josh and I feel like I'm protecting him and I feel no protection or love or support or anything from him. I want a manly man. I feel like I'm pretty broken. I'm going to do something that I've never done before. But right now, it's up to you, Josh, what you want to do from this point forward. Thanks, I'd like to leave. The most hurtful things he said 
I'm not attracted to you, there's no attraction here. I'm a good looking girl, not to him. The most hurtful thing for me was he said if there was someone that walked down the aisle that wowed him, he would have cut it off with his ex then and there. I said them just to hurt her. I have never seen a relationship like this before in the experiment. Caitlin, right now it's up to you what you want to do from this point forward. I deserve that chance, but this man does not deserve me, so I will be leaving. Good. Oof, drama. I know, where's the popcorn? It's extraordinary. Yeah. Whew, let's bring in maths expert John Aiken for your take on all of this. My goodness, yeah, still shaking it's it off, right? It was a oh, lot. It's a lot. It, it's intense when you're there and doing it because mm. it goes for a number of hours through the night. But when you're then watching it back, uh, it's it just uh, it's emotional yeah. because uh, you're up close and personal with these people and you're asking them hard questions and you get to see all the group and and, the, and their reactions as well. Mm. Um, it's it's kind of a I see you at the local coffee shop a lot. Indeed, um, it's one of the highlights. It's actually <laughs> it's actually hard to talk to him because everyone wants to talk yes. to you. Uh, and people popular. even before this were saying, "Hang on, these two, there's something not quite right," mm. and you had to answer those questions and, and field them. Uh, but it's a, still a big decision not to let people stay and to continue with the experiment, because yeah. it is that. Yeah, we, and I, I hadn't done that before, but you're looking at two things. Firstly, what's going on on the couch and how distressed they are. Yeah. But also the future. Can these guys really have uh, a lasting relationship? Uh, and for them, Josh and Melissa, it was dead in the water. Yeah. So I thought, I'm just going to call it and, and let, them, let them go their separate ways. The body language said it all, didn't it, with those two? But apart from the sad, awful scenes from yesterday, there were some happy stories as well that came out of it. Yes, and we forget uh, that's that. That's enough. Some... We have time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, Sarah, we do forget about that. But yes. yeah, we do have some fairy tales yeah. in there. Uh, Tani and Ollie She's are so going. Oh, I know. Yeah. I love and, and love. That's why she yeah. watches it. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. the love. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas we watch it for a different reason. So <laughs> what about this? You've kicked a guy out. So what, yep. why don't you get I Dion from last? Know. My friend Dion from last season back. I mean, the poor guy's struggling. <gasps> Can't yep. find a partner. Yep. Still. Can't even get a date. Oh, dear. Well, let me tell you, desperate and dateless. The, the maps is the place to come. Yeah. Because we deal in love, Carl. Yeah. Exactly. But in, in, terms, in terms of these guys, uh, Tani and Ollie are loved up. Uh, Lyndall and Cam are going mm. strong. Alyssa and Duncan. Some nice couples, You know, yeah. some good couples in there. Mm. You got some of them right. And this week we've got the new people that are arriving. The, Ooh. Yes, the, the couples. The intruders. And they really shake it up, particularly one or two. Intruder. Have a go at the guys in there because our guys they can behave badly. They can yeah, set them straight. Awful. Um, I'll see you at the coffee shop. Can't wait. Long black. Okay. <laughs> you can catch all the action on Married at First Sight, the best show in the world, on nine and nine now tonight at seven thirty. Right after the Today That's Show, it. of course. Yeah. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?